Chris Baker. Welcome back to Blue Eye Morphs. I hope everybody's doing really, really well. Uh, before I even get into this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to everybody that watches my channel, guys. I just hit 7,000 subscribers, which I I'm blown away that 7,000 people decided to subscribe to the channel. And I'm blown away at some of the traffic my videos get. Uh, unless my mom watches my video 1,500 times, which I'm cool with too. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy about that, guys. I, I'm, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Um, let's get this thing going, though. Let's get to 10,000 now. Uh, with that being said, my Instagram, we're just below 15,000 followers. So if you don't follow me on there, please head over there. I just started TikTok, so check that shit out, too. Uh, I'm really enjoying getting back in the swing of things. Got kind of lazy during the holidays. Got kind of lazy in general, a few things. But we're back up and running, posting regularly, and I'm really happy about that. I look forward to doing the YouTube videos. Give me something to think about and just... An excuse to spend more time in here, to be honest with you. Um, that being said, guys, uh, I really appreciate all the love and feedback I got on my last clutch. Uh, they're all doing very, very well. We're waiting for them to shut out. Uh, give you a quick little, uh, give, them the, give them the sunlight, sunlight, yeah, the fluorescent lights over here for you. Check them out. Really happy with the outcome. But once they shut out, I'll do a full video on that. I think that clutch deserves a full video. Uh, today's video is going to be about my Sea Serpent Hotbox, the 60-inch one. I'm going to go through it, um, not extensively, but decently in-depth, show you the ins and outs of it, what I think about it, my experience with it, so forth and so on. Uh, before we get into that, Saturday's video was originally going to be about my 2022 season, my second season. Um, you know, I like to keep things completely and totally transparent. So I'm going to get into... This overall review of the season and also finance, how much I made, how much I spent, taxes, so forth and so on, shit like that. Um, so that, I was going to do Saturday. However, uh, all my good buddy Sal Gomez Pythons just bought an ultrasound. And if you haven't already, head over to his channel. He just posted a video about it. Um, really good video about him using his ultrasound. He actually bought the ultrasound, FaceTime me to show me using it. I was sitting on the ball and I was naked and I didn't think that... Well, I answered, and it's awkward, but this is who we are, and it is what it is. Regardless, though, head over there, but on Thursday, he should be heading over here, the Blue Line Morphs HQ, to kind of use an ultrasound, ultrasound some of my girls. I'm thinking about getting one myself from my buddy Joe, and so that will be Saturday's video if he shows up, if he's a good friend. Um, if not, we'll do the other video. But regardless, guys, look forward to that video. Um, anything new going on here? Oh, yes. So if you guys remember, I've spoke about this boy quite often. Where are you, honey? There he is. I'll take him out real quick. Oh, I'm get my Windex right there. I'll hold him up over here. Come here, buddy. This is my pastel Enchi, Enchi Blade Leopard Clown Breeder Male from Redline Python. He's available, guys. But you know what? Now that he's sticking around and hanging out because nobody wants him, guess what? He's going to pay the rent. So let me give you guys an update on some of the pairings I've done with him so far. So I got her all ready so you can view her. He's locked with her twice. Oh, actually once already. First introduction was oh, actually this week. I think a couple days ago, actually. Really happy about that. But not a heck clown. Nothing crazy, but I love Gotham. So we'll see what happens. Maybe get the nice banana and she leopard clown. That'd be cool, right? Maybe we hit a female, be even better. But this girl right here eats like a beast. I'm really happy about that. So that's a new pairing we got going on here. Let me cover her up. She's fresh out of shed, so I decided to pair her up. And he's also hooking up. And doing his thing to this big mama Luke over here. This is my big old fire blade clown girl. It's deep in shadow, as you can see, looking real thick. He's locking up with her, too, so I'm pretty happy about that, guys. All right? So that's one thing we're going on. Might figure out to pair him up with something else. Not entirely sure. Got a couple clown girls hanging out, chilling, not doing nothing. Uh, don't really know, though. All right, so let's get right into this video. I think it kind of catches you guys up. All right, so if you're following this channel, my channel, the first season was kind of a shit show, right? We all agree on that. I used a homemade incubator. I did not make it myself. I got it from a buddy of mine. It was made very well out of a wine cooler, which is essentially a little fridge, okay? With heat tape down the back and with a thermostat. Issue, but I believe, was the Helix thermostat. I did sell the product off to somebody after I got done using it. And, of course, I told him, listen, this thing fucking smoked my two clutches. Killed one, almost killed the second one. And he ultimately said the Helix thermostat is doing its own thing. He said 88, actually reading like 108, shit like that, no big deal. Didn't have the best luck with incubators, so I'm very temperamental incubators now. Now I think everything's going to go wrong with them. Year after that, uh, second year last year, I bought an incubator from Sal. Go must buy it, buy everything from Sal apparently. And um, I believe it was Nature's Harvest? No. I think that's food, right? Isn't that bread? I think it's bread. I think it's the bread I buy. No. Yeah. 
Nature Spirit. Nature Spirit LLC makes them. Really good incubator. Kind of has a false wall and the heat on the left with the fan blowing through. Really good little incubator. Really, really happy with it. Ultimately, Sal did some renovations in his room. And he realized that his Sea Serpent 60-inch incubator was a little too big for the space he had available. But he can stack two uh, Nature Spirit incubator on top of it perfectly well. So he bought the one back from me, bought a new one, and then I paid for this one that he spent on it, which we'll get into in a second. Which leads me to this incubator, which I kind of wanted to do my review on. I get asked a lot of questions about the Sea Serpent Hotbox incubator I have. Because you guys see it in my, my, my videos. Because it's fucking huge. Um... I really didn't want to make too many comments on it because I didn't hatch a clutch out of it yet, okay? But I did now, right? And we're very happy about that. We're very fortunate about that. Um, so it's not a lot of experience hatching clutches out of it, but we got one good one. So let's get right into this. So first and foremost, guys, well, got my light. Boop, boop. Okay. So this is the, really, honey? You can't just do it. You don't give a shit. I know, I know, you're my munchkin. All right, so this is my 60-inch hotbox. This is the biggest one they make. 60-inch, five feet, okay? Really 60 inches, boys, okay? Not, you know, actually 54 inches or whatever the case. So they say, space-efficient-wise, you can have and stack about 50 of these six-quart tubs in there. Now, I'm telling you right now, if you got those shelves there, you are not stacking those 50. I believe that number, which I believe is true, Means you gotta take all of those racks out, kind of stack them on top of each other, which kind of will be a pain in the dick if you have one that's pipping in the middle and those aren't ready. Anyway, you can fit 50 in here if you want. Realistically, I don't know if that's possible, but that's what they claim. That being said, they do make various sizes. So if you're looking for an incubator, you're like, oh, that, that thing is way, way too big for me. Uh, they do make two others, three other sizes, I believe. I believe one's 48 inches. And that one they claim, I think the 20, don't quote me, 27 six quart tubs. They have one that's, I think, 30 inches or something like that, 20, maybe 36, 32 inches. That's like 15 clutches. And they have one that's the smallest one my buddy Big Ed has, I believe it's six clutches. So depending on your level of how many clutches you want to have, Sea Serpent's got you covered, okay, with the hot box. Let's get right into it. Now we get the sizes taken care of. Yeah, we already saw this. We've got the light up here, chilling. Right, pretty much every time, every day I walked in when it was about 50 days around, I still did. I hit the light. No, nope, they didn't pip yet, and then I come back for the bed. No, nope, didn't pip yet, and that's kind of what I did. All right, so let's get right into it. All right, so it's 60 inches. We covered that. You can push it up top of here, guys. First and foremost, that's pretty cool. Um, all right, anyway, so the outside is constructed with this PVC, right? Kind of like we have over there with that, but it has these three clips over here. Now I'll be completely and totally honest with you guys. When it comes to these things, they're a little flimsy, and even here, this is the only thing that turns me off of this incubator is if you look, as soon as they pop it open, yes, the door is going to open up, but check this out, all right? The door is a little flimsy, all right, guys? Yes, I understand it's a large door, and I'm, most, I'm probably going to assume that the smaller incubators, the smaller doors, doesn't have this much wobble, and let's be honest, it's not like we're showing up here like we're drunk and it's a fridge and I'm popping open for a hot pocket, all right, guys? All right, so be gentle with the door if you get it, all right? Not, a, not the end of the world, but you know what? Not the most sturdy thing in the world, but I'm not fucking worried about it. All right, so up here, we do have our two fans that are circling in the air. Now, if you notice, there is a big, giant circle in the middle. Because when Sal bought this, this is the older model, which has the one in the middle there. And now I believe they switch over to two like this. Now, Sal is super handy. Me, not so much. There's, there's a great joke in there somewhere, but I'm not... I'm going to try to stay politically correct because this is a YouTube channel. I don't want to offend anybody, but it's not my grass is getting low. And so he decided to plug it up and put two fans in there, which he did perfectly well. And the circulation is, is absolutely phenomenal, okay? You have the false wall back here with the heat panel, and that's where it kind of circulates through, up and around. It's up and down. It keeps the air flowing. I'm really happy about that. Now, when it comes to the shelves, we do have these little buttons here that kind of pop in, and you can adjust it accordingly as big as you want, as small as you want. Obviously, we have it spaced out pretty much where you can fit one six core tub in here you can put them sideways i'll show you guys how it looks right we kind of have it i have mine sitting right here you can put it there you put three on top of each other you can put them side by side. you can put one two one one two three stuff like that pretty much three per shelf if you really want to get nasty probably fit five in there and then you have like up here you could probably stack yeah, you can push them in the back here, put one in the back, one in the back there, so forth and so on. Uh, but that's kind of how it looks. Now, obviously, you take those racks out, then you can stack them higher, okay? But this is all adjustable, which is nice. Now, when it comes to your thermostat, of course, I have the good old 
uh, Herbstat 1. And you obviously just plug the heat tape into that thing. And then you run your probe through right up here. You have this. Can you see that on camera? Yep. You have that. I just kind of stick it. I just have it laying right here in the middle, guys. I haven't had any real issue with this. In fact, I set this thing at like 88 point, like 7 degrees or some shit like that. And it maintains that temperature almost perfect throughout the entire process. No real issue with that whatsoever. Um, I will say this, again, my only flaw, I believe, is these clips and the flimsiness of the door. However, the incubator itself has worked phenomenally. There's not much, listen, there's not much for me to tell you. Okay, it's a giant box, it's got heat in it, and it's got air circulation. You don't need much more, but I'll tell you this. <clears throat> Now, I didn't get to test it where this incubator was like maxed out with egg clutches, which would kind of alter the hot spot, so forth and so on. But when I did have my sensor push in there before it ran out of batteries, um, the incubator maintained the same temperature when it was closed for ever, for the last eight months, okay? That temperature did not differentiate at all. It stayed perfectly the same. Now, cool. Wherever your sensor push was, was the right temperature. Why? I probably put it on the same line, the same rack as my probe. So what I actually did is inside of my egg box, I moved the sensor push around. And now I know it's only a six quart tub. However, in all four corners and in the middle, it was the same temperature. Now, even when I moved uh, the uh, sensor push up into the corner of the incubator, down below, so forth and so on, we maintained the same temperature. So I didn't experience any hot spots in the hot box. Uh, it, was, it was perfect. It just end of story, perfect. I have no complaints whatsoever about it. Now, when it comes to getting up the temperature, it's rather big, right? It's kind of the size of a refrigerator. I'll tell you this. I kind of did a few tests, make sure shit was up and running, plugged it in, let it cool off, plugged it in, let it cool off. And this thing got the temperature within minutes, okay, guys? Uh, I still have it running now. I'm just going to leave it running. Honestly, I have it running just to have more heat in the, the reptile room so I can maintain my 77 degrees there. Um, I think that big old incubator has a lot to do with it. So I have that still running, but if I wanted to shut this thing down and I also got a clutch popped out, I could put that thing on within 15 minutes or back up to the temperature and I'm ecstatic with that. So that's a quick little review of the Sea Serpent Hotbox 60 inch incubator. Really happy about it, guys. A little closer look for you guys. A lot of you guys ask about it. I suppose I could do a much more in-depth one if you really wanted me to. But again, there's not much to talk about, right? We got glass, we got heat, we got air circulation. We're good to go. We're gravy, baby. Um, yeah, so appreciate you guys watching. Not really sure what side of these videos are going to come. Hopefully, South swings by. We'll see you then. Be safe. Please remember, watch your six.